setting up a WooCommerce store using Hostinga. Hi guys, it's Sam Day here from daytips.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up a WooCommerce website so you can have your WooCommerce store running using Hostinga, super simple, super easy. Now, one of the reasons why I recommend Hostinga for people who are new to WordPress is because they are the cheapest on the market as so as I have seen, but they are also really reliable as well. They have a good support team. Um, and I also have a special coupon code. And when you use that, you get even more of a discount on your Hostinga package. So if you want to set up a WooCommerce store, you actually need hosting, you need somewhere to host that site. And Hostinga basically is a website that allows you to do that. Now this video is sponsored by Hostinga, but I do promote them even when they're not sponsoring this video, but they do like this channel. So they like collaborating with us. So as you can see, I'm actually on Hostinga now. So this is the first thing you want to do when you set up your WooCommerce store is you want to head over to Hostinga and here are a couple of the plans that they have. So they have the single plan, the premium plan and the business plan as you can see the single plan starts from uh, $99 a month then you have $2.89 a month and $3.99 a month for the business plan now the diff main difference between the single and the premium that I find matters is the uh the domain name so if you already have a domain name with Namecheap or GoDaddy or wherever else maybe you're transitioning your website from another platform to WordPress and you've already got the domain name then you can transfer that over um, I've done a video on that in the past and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below I'll also be doing further videos on how to do this kinds of this kind of stuff um, within WordPress um, and using Hostinga. So, you know, watch those videos if you get stuck. But if you don't have a domain name already, then you're going to want to go for the uh, premium plan, which is $2.89 a month. Now you will have to pay for this in bulk. So you can pay minimum, I think it's 12 months, um, or you can actually pay more. So the longer you, term you pay for, the cheaper you actually pay per month. So if you add this to your cart, it will take you to the prices. And this will be the initial price. As you can see, it's X'd out. That's because it's, it's a discount. Um, so make sure you have your discount initiated by clicking on that. And when you enter your code, enter Sam Day, S-A-M-D-E-Y, and that should give you your discount. Um, so make sure you do do that. I'll leave a link in the description down below as well to the coupon discount so you can use that um, and get some money off. And then obviously you can check out and now you will have your Hostinga account um, kind of all set up for you. So once you have your Hostinga package and you've paid for it, uh, this is what the inside of your Hostinga account will look like. It should look something like this and you should be able to now set up your Hostinga WordPress website. So as you can see, it says I can set up my single web hosting. So if I click on setup, so this is the page where it will take you to next, where you can choose a domain name. I already have a domain name associated with this account. So as you can see, I can just use my daytipsmembers.co.uk. Um, but you can also choose a diff, you can also buy a domain name if you don't have a domain name already. Um, and then when you select buy a domain name, it will ask you to search and you can select that. If you already have a domain name, then you want to select use an existing domain name and it will kind of prompt you to enter the details so you can transfer, transfer your domain name to Hostinga. But we're going to select this because it's the domain name I already have. Um, and then it wants some details from me and um, I need to register this domain name and then I'll be able to proceed. So once I've filled out this information, it's gonna ask me if I want to build a new site or migrate my current website. Obviously, we're looking to build new sites. If you are looking to migrate, then you can select the migrate tab. And if you get stuck with the migration, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to help you out. Um, so now it's asking us what we want to select. So as you can see, it makes it super easy for us to just kind of select WooCommerce. So you can, you can select WordPress, um, if you kind of want to do the whole WooCommerce setup by yourself, you can select select Zyro. I actually have a video on Zyro and I'll leave that video in the link down below as well. If you want to kind of use Zyro, it's like a, um, it's, it's kind of like a website building platform where you can kind of easily build a website. Um, and if you want a tutorial on that, 
it's going to be in the description um, but i also have woocommerce as an option as well so obviously that's the theme of this video so we're going to select that and then it's asking for my email address and to create a password and then i'm going to continue and i'm going to ask it to save my password now i can actually create a template so it has all of these different templates you can also skip if you don't need a template but just to make things a lot easier we're going to go with this one simply natural template i'm going to select that so this is the final stage of setting everything up and you can check that all of your information is correct and you can go to finish setup and as you can see it starts to initiate the setup and set everything up on the back end for you uh, this is another reason why i really like hostinga because it just makes the whole setup process of your WooCommerce store really simple and really easy. If you follow the steps in this video, then it should be a breeze for you. So once that has all finished, it will give you the option to view your site, how it currently looks, or to go to your control panel and manage your site. So I'm going to click manage site. And there's a lot of set setup options for you to do. You can activate your SSL certificate. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you set that up because that's the little uh, padlock thing as you can see up here the padlock and that basically tells search engines and your website visitors that your site is secure so they can actually take payments and uh, feel safe browsing around your website so I definitely recommend activating that within Hostinga. Um, it can impact your search engine rankings as well if you don't have this activated um, it may take a while for Hostinga to kind of connect your website to uh, WordPress. So you might have to come back to this option later on down the line. But once you've had your site for a little while, you can um, set that up and activate it. And once that's all activated, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can select uh, your domain that you want to manage. Click on manage and it will take you to this page where you can actually go to your WordPress dashboard and then you should be able to click on edit website. So here is where I'll go and I can edit my website. So I'm getting an error status at the moment because it's saying my domain is not pointing to Hostinger. So what I want to do is uh, go to my domains um, and sort out that issue. So you can sort out all domain issues here. Um, and then you can click set up and fill out all the information that they need. So as you can see now it says my domain status is waiting for activation. Um, so that can take up to two days, but it, it does show me what like my preview of my website will look like. So this is what the preview kind of site will look like based on the template that I selected. And obviously you can go in here um, and make any changes. So when you do kind of get set up with, with WordPress, this is how the inside of your WordPress dashboard will look like. Um, and then you, you will have, you should have WooCommerce already installed for you. If you don't, um, then you can kind of simply go to the plugins down here um, and install WooCommerce. So if you go to uh, plugins and then up here, go to add new, then you should be able to search for WooCommerce. And it's this one that you're looking for and you can install that and make sure that it's active. And then you should see the WooCommerce plugin here and then you can go in there and make the changes that you want to your website. You can add your products, uh, you can set up payments, you can set up tax, you can set up shipping, uh, you can personalize your store. And within this dashboard, this is kind of where you will edit your website. Um, and when I click on add a product, it kind of gives you options to either import your product or you can add manually. And obviously with, with WordPress, um, also you can go to your pages, you can go to all pages and you can make any necessary changes to uh, any page that you like on your particular website. So um, I will be doing more videos on WooCommerce. This is kind of like an entry beginner level, just how to set up your WooCommerce store. Um, a part two will be coming soon. So make sure you watch out for that. But I do hope that this video helped you to kind of set up your WooCommerce store. If you do have any questions, then let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I will be updating the description of this video when the part two is ready. So make sure you come back and refer to that. But I do have the formula guys. It's the free guide to generating leads and sales online. So now you've got your WooCommerce website set up. You're going to want to import your products, but you're also going to want to drive traffic and convert that traffic 
into sales um, and I recommend downloading the formula to help you to do that. It's absolutely free. I'll leave a copy in the description down below and also somewhere on this screen. Uh, but I really do hope that this video helped you out and if it did then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day, download the formula and I will see you soon.